Hello people of the internet, Spaz here, welcome to another 1.4.4 video, and today, it's time to take on Mechdusa on the Zenith Seed. A disclaimer, you do need to beat Duke Fishron for this boss guy to work, because I used Duke Fishron gear because it was absolutely impossible without it for me. I'm sorry in advance, my Fishron guide should be out in the next day or so though, so don't worry, it'll be okay. But the arena here, it's 390 blocks long, and the height of the arena is just all the way to the top of the world. You need to place a, block, a platform of blocks right at the ed edge of the world where you can't place blocks anymore, so you don't fly out of the map and just instantly die. You got two platforms, just lit up with torches, campfires, heart lanterns, standard stuff. I actually put a layer of lava on the bottom layer of the arena there, and we have teleporters on the edges of each platform so you can teleport back and forth to get away from Medusa. Be careful when you do this though because Medusa has a tendency to despawn when you do this. Step 1. Die. Okay guys, for melee, I want you to use the Drippler Crippler, the Flare On, the Rod of Discord, very important, Greater Healing Potions, a Burger or any other food buff, Iron Skin, Regen, Swiftness, Endurance, Wrath, Rage, Sake, Inferno, Life Force, Thorns, Obsidian Skin, Shine, and Icor Flasks. For armor, I want you to use Frost Armor, and there is a little thing right now. There's a bug when you play on single player, where Ice Golems will not spawn. One of you guys brought this to my attention. You have to go on multiplayer to get Ice Golems right now. Relogic said they're going to fix it, so I'm going to leave Frost Armor in here for future reference, but right now, if you can't play a multiplayer, you're going to have to use like Titanium Armor. But it shouldn't be too much different. Use the Berserker's Glove, Ank Shield, or Obsidian Shield, Stinger Necklace, Shield of Cthulhu, Fishron Wings, Warrior Emblem, and Terra Spark Boots. All reforged to warding and or menacing. The strategy for melee is simply going to be killing the destroyer first. You can kill the destroyer very fast if you get a, get to the clump and just destroy it with the dripper purple. Then, once the destroyer is dead, I want you to focus on Skeletron Prime. Once Skeletron Prime is dead, you single out each eye individually, and this order should be completely fine. Circling the boss is something you want to do once the destroyer is dead. Okay, people, so for Ranger, I want you to use the Tsunami Rod of Discord, again very important, Greater Healing Potions, a Burger or any other food buff, Iron Skin, Regen, Swiftness, Endurance, Wrath, Rage, Archery, Inferno, Life Force, Thorns, Obsidian Skin, Shine, and that's it, because the Icor Flasks don't actually do anything, they were just in my inventory. Armor, I want you to use Frost Armor, and again, the glitch is there. Thank you for notifying me. So just use Titanium Armor Ranger set up for that for the time being, but for future reference when this glitch does get fixed, Frost Armor I think is the way to go. Use the Magic Quiver, Obsidian Shield or Ang Shield, Stinger Necklace, Shield of Cthulhu, Fish on Wings, Ranger Emblem, and Terra Spark Boots, all reforged to warding and or menacing. The strategy for Ranger is simple, you want to focus on killing the Destroyer first, again, really hit that clump, and once the Destroyer is dead, then you just focus on killing Skeletron Prime. Skeletron Prime, you can just go straight for the head, you don't gotta kill the arms first, and then focus on each eye individually as you see fit. To avoid low gravity, you can use the Queen Slime Mount, I found this most effective, to quickly descend if you get really high into your arena.
that was easy. For mage, you're going to want to use the Aqua Scepter, which is unique to the Santa Seed. It's a drop from Duke Fisheron instead of the Bubble Gun, and it's really good. The Razor Boy Typhoon can be used if you need it, but you will not. There are Discord, which is very important. Greater healing potions, greater mana potions, a burger or any other food buff, iron skin, regen, swiftness, endurance, wrath, rage, magic power, mana regeneration, inferno, life force, thorns, shine, and obsidian skin potions. For armor, I want you to use titanium armor with the mage helmet, of course, mana cloak, obsidian shield, or ink shield, stinger necklace, shield of Cthulhu, fish run wings, sorcerer emblem, Terra Spark Boots, all reforged to warding and or menacing. I'm on all menacing. Alright guys, so the strategy for Mage is super easy. You're just gonna wanna kill the Destroyer first, hit the Clump, go after Skeletron Prime next, and then focus on each eye individually. And if you get too high on the arena when you're falling, just activate the Queen Slime mount, and that'll help you descend rapidly through the arena. Alright guys, so for the final class, Summoner, there is an arena change. I have put bubble blocks halfway through the second platform area and fill it with water because this actually slows down the lasers from Skeletron Prime and everything and allows you to use the Shrimpy Truffle mount from Fisheron, which negates the gravity, the low gravity for the most part. But for the loadout of Summoner, I would recommend using the Cool Whip, Rod of Discord, and Firecracker Whip with the Tempest Staff, Greater Healing Potions, a Burger or any other food buff, Iron Skin, Region, Swiftness, Endurance, Wrath, Rage, Summoning, Inferno, Life Force, Thorns, Shine, Icor Flask, Water Walking, and Obsidian Skin Potions. For armor, I recommend using Spider Armor, Berserker's Glove, Ang Shield or Obsidian Shield, Shield of Cthulhu, Pygmy Necklace, Fish on Wings, Summoner, Emblem, and a Putrid Scent. All reforged, rewarding and or menacing, but I'm using all menacing. Alright, so again, for this fight, just go straight for the Destroyer. Kill it first, go for the Clump of the Destroyer, then put the Second Prime, and then the eyes and the visual yeah. Spin around the boss, once the Destroyer is dead, go for a lot of the attacks, and make sure to utilize the water and the Truffle Mount to get away when you want to level on health. But you're going to want to try to stay under the water pit for the most part, because that's where the gravity is most normal. Alright guys, that was Medusa as all four classes on the Zen Seed. Overall, it was it's pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie, especially summer. It's it's really hard. Without Duke Fishron gear, I don't think I could do it. But the Duke Fishron guide will be out very soon, so don't worry about that. I have it covered for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content from me, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Goodbye.